Hey, welcome. So today I'm talking about the Xiaomi uh, vibration sensor. So this is uh, another of the a new addition to the sensor sort of lineup uh, from Xiaomi. And as with all the other sensors, you do need the Xiaomi gateway to run these. So if you don't have one of those, check out some of the other videos to see some uh, information about that. Um, so what does this do? So pretty much this is, I would say, in the family with the magnetic sensor, which you know detects if a window or a door or something like that is open or cabinet. Uh, and m many of the scenarios that I can come up with what, what you want to do with this are in that uh, sort of a neighborhood. But the advantage of this is with the magnet sensor, you do need two uh, physical things. You know, you need the sensor and you need a magnet. And then that sensor will detect if the magnetic link is broken. Uh, and this is uh, one device that can then detect either tilt, vibration or drops. So these three uh, different actions, are, I would say uh, having tested this device now for a while, not uh, always super stable, uh, especially vibration and tilt are often, uh, let's say, mixed uh, together. Whereas drop typically will uh, be, be pretty stable, but then you know what is the use case of detecting that something is dropped? I don't know, but uh, I'll just show you uh, how these three actions are, are to be tested and what you then could uh, do with this. Okay, let's try and play with this to see the different uh, uh, yeah trigger actions. So if you select the device and then you go to the log and we just refresh to make sure that all entries have been deleted. If we start out with the easiest one, the vibration. So if I shake it a little bit, we should get a vibration uh, event here. And we did. And just to illustrate that, if I do it again, I shouldn't see uh, an additional entry here because it will only send one uh, event uh, per minute within the category because I can uh, this should trigger a drop uh, it did and then the more tricky one the tilt so the best way I can illustrate this is usually by doing like a motion like this and let's see if that created a tilt event it did right so these are the three different types of uh, motion vibration call it what you want that you can uh, detect and again, each action can only trigger once per minute. Uh, okay, the other thing we can look at here is we can adjust the vibration sensitivity for the device. And you have pretty much three options and the default is medium. And again, I, I advise you to play around with this, you know, after you found what you want to, uh, you attach the device to whatever you want to measure. And then, you know, make sure you find the correct sweet spot uh, so you get enough uh, alerts to, to act when you actually need it, but don't get too many false positives. So play around with this depending on what you're using it for. Uh, one thing in the, in the UI here that is absolutely to me useless is this area, the vibration curve. Uh, so it shows, you know, a little bit of how, when, how much action this device uh, had had, but I don't know, uh, you know, this strength, uh, to me, uh, you know, it's always been zero. Uh, this uh, similar, you know, uh, also zero, and it looks like this is some sort of button, but I can't uh, do anything with it. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, but... Uh, it, it, this seems very, you know, unfinished and, and something, you know, that uh, some engineer thought up but didn't finish. I don't know. I, I haven't found any use for it. Perhaps you can. You know, if you, if you do, <laughs> leave me a comment. So that was just a small demo of, uh, of the three actions that are in this and the, the software to, to define it. Uh, it cost just about $10 from AliExpress. I'll put a link in the description field. And you, uh, you are uh, probably right to, to, like me, to think, you know, this is something that are in the neighborhood of these magnet sensors. I think I'm gonna use this as a mailbox indicator for my, uh, for my mailbox outside my, of my house, uh, where 
a magnet sensor really I have tried looking into that but it really doesn't fit and there are some uh, problems with the magnetic thing in a, in a metal a mailbox which uh, many others have uh, have tried to to solve and I think you know a sensor like this could could be useful there uh, since it doesn't rely on the magnetic link uh, yeah uh, the whole drop scenario I think is kind of funny because given that how would you attach this to something you know that you want to detect is being dropped and what is that that you that you drop so often that or are afraid of being dropped that you want to put a sensor on it i don't really know the tilt scenario again that's more like it could be a moving door where it doesn't break a magnetic link so again back to the whole vibration scenario but could be useful i don't know Anyway, that's pretty much what it does. Hope you find it uh, useful. Uh, if you do come up with some, some great scenarios for using it, uh, leave a comment. I'll be uh, interested to hear from you guys.